All right, so welcome back to the Chris Salcedo Show. I'm Carl Higby, filling in for Chris, who has the well-earned day off. Facebook, though, it's allowing temporary posts on Vladimir Putin's war on Ukraine to call for violence against, quote, Russian invaders. Okay, so Meta, the new Facebook parent company, says that they won't allow for credible call, or they, they won't allow for credible calls of violence against Russian civilians, but calls for violence against their leaders, that should be fine. Joining me now is the CEO of Free Space, the alternative to Facebook, John Willis. John, appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having me, Carl. How are you? All right. So, well, you know, I'm good, and I'm not wearing a yellow tie, so you can't make fun of me for that this time. However, a social well, media platform, okay, it's allowing for violence against the leader of a nation that may or may not have a nuclear weapon aimed at Juneau, Alaska. But... You know, they, you can't say that you don't like, that, that you're unvaccinated on their platform without getting banned or something. What do you make of this? It's very, very dangerous what uh, Facebook or Meta or whatever the heck they're calling themselves today is doing. Um, so basically what they're doing is they're, they're telling the surrounding countries like Albania, Slovakia, uh, or Slovenia, excuse me, Lithuania, all the Baltic states, Basically saying, yeah, you can. We're totally fine with you saying, hey, go kill President Putin. Um, they're totally fine with that, or 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 to hurt, you know, Russian soldiers. Right. You you just don't do that, folks. Uh, you, you all that does is it's yeah. basically Facebook saying, here's a can of gasoline. We're going to go pour it on this fire and really start World War Three. Um, but also, why they are pushing it goes for into the war is beyond me. It, but it also goes into Section 230 again, which is basically, I know this is not in, they're not doing it in the, the American bounds here, but, I mean, this shows that they are willing to allow speech of violence against a sitting president of, of a nation, however bad it may be, and it shows that they are politically motivated. 230 shouldn't protect that, should it? Well, of course not. I mean, it's, it's you have to look at Facebook as if, as if they're their own nation. They are more powerful than yeah. most nations on the earth. Uh, they're one of the largest spy agencies in the world. I mean, they sell all of our data to every government of the world. Yeah. And uh, the power that they hold on every single citizen that's on their platform is unbelievable. And the fact that they feel that they are completely justified in calling for the death of soldiers, it doesn't matter what country these soldiers are from, whether they're Russian, Chinese, Iraqi, it could eventually end up being U.S., you know, where, where Facebook yeah. is totally fine for people calling for the assassination of a U.S. president or U.S. soldiers. This sets a very, very dangerous precedent uh, for for social media in general. And the fact that they're so cavalier by saying, oh, this is totally fine because Russia is the bad guy. Well, this this war doesn't make any sense in the first place. Why Putin's going in? We don't know all the facts. Every day something new is coming out. And Facebook yeah. has a really bad problem of trying to control the narrative, and then it totally blows up yeah. in their face weeks or, exactly. or months later. Right. And, and, you know, they could go further than this. They could ban, oh, I don't know, a sitting president. <laughs> Who could possibly have seen that coming? All right, John Willis, yeah. Free Space Social. I'm on your platform, full disclosures. I appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Thanks, bud. Have a good one. All right, folks.